Sanya Richards Ross is a name that symbolizes excellence and dominance in the 400 meters. As a four-time Olympic and five-time world champion, she has an outstanding track record with 49 sub-50-second performances, making her one of the greatest and the most consistent quarter-milers in history. In a recent media interaction, she expressed her frustration with the unbreakable nature of the current women's sprint world records. I 100% wish that World Athletics would have put an asterisk on those records. I worked really hard and was a world-class athlete, but it doesn't make sense, especially for someone who attempted to get the record. They go from 52 seconds to 47, and we have been at 48 seconds for 30 years now. This statement sounds very strange, especially coming from a highly accomplished athlete. Firstly, it's important to note that there are no such things as unbreakable records. If athletes can't break a record, that doesn't necessarily mean the record needs to be marked with an asterisk. Secondly, working very hard or even winning several Olympic titles doesn't guarantee a world record. Let's not forget that the 100 and 200 meter world records also faced a lot of criticism. However, once athletes started viewing these records as opportunities to learn from, rather than insurmountable barriers, they got closer to breaking them. Applying the same mindset to the 400 meters suggests that several athletes over the past decade could easily break the 47-second barrier, including Sanya Richards-Ross. So why hasn't this happened yet? Well, it's generally accepted that the start and drive phase should be executed the same way for any sprint race, whether it's the 100 meters or the quarter mile. This means that athletes need to go very aggressively in the first 50 meters, utilizing their lactic energy system, which burns out in about six seconds. It's believed that holding back won't prevent it from burning out, so it's best to take maximum advantage of it. That's why the first six seconds of a 400 meter race are considered free energy. The problem is female athletes take this too literally, so they go out super aggressively in any race. For instance, at the 2008 World Athletics Final, Sanya Richards Ross dominated the 200 meters running the first 50 in 6.36 seconds. The following year, she won the gold medal in the 400 meters at the World Championships with an even faster acceleration of 6.34 seconds. Similarly, Allison Felix, an athlete with the highest potential to break the world record, did pretty much the same thing. At the 2008 US Olympic Trials, she won the 200-meter final in 21.82 seconds, with the first 50-meter split of 6.30 seconds. And at the 2015 World Championships, she won the 400-meter final, going absolutely out of control in the first 50, which she covered in 6.29 seconds. To put this time in perspective, consider that on the way to the 200-meter world record, Flo Jo ran the first 50 meters exactly in 629, but it was the 200-meter race, not the 400. What is even more interesting is that Allison Felix ran the first 50 meters faster than Butch Reynolds during his world record performance of 43.29, which still ranks as the third fastest time ever. This pretty much explains why top female athletes run the 400 meters in the range of 49 seconds instead of 46. However, in 2019, Salwa Eid Nasser demonstrated a different approach by using smooth and gradual acceleration. Patiently gaining speed rather than sprinting all out, she ran the opening 50 meters in 6.71 seconds, almost half a second slower than Allison Felix. Despite being slower than some of her top competitors, she produced the third fastest time in history thanks to smarter race pacing.